How you doing? My name is Mo Sullivan and welcome to the Head Mechanic. Usual thing, I'm going to read out this week's article, then we'll have a little bit of a chat. Isn't it great to be alive? Last week I wrote about how a few kind words can change somebody's day instantly. However, I forgot to mention a major drawback with this. I quoted an old Irish expression that goes, Near rich fuckle, near rich fuckle my fecal row, which basically translates as a kind word never broke anyone's mouth. What I left out is that a few kind words can turn man who's a grown man or woman into a blushing, gurning, wriggling little child, and instead of looking at his in the eye, he's looking at their boots. Why is this? What about yourself? How do you react when someone pays you a compliment? Do you smile and say thanks? Or do you do what most of us do? Blush and squirm? Or even worse, do you regard every compliment as a trick? Do you answer with that all too common positivity killing phrase? Yeah, what are you after? Because nothing kills goodwill faster than cynicism. And yet so many of us seem so much more comfortable with getting a slag in than we are with compliments. Why is it that so many of us can walk into a room full of compliments, full of people who love and respect us, full of compliments and we hear none of them, yet the one voice of criticism in the corner, that comes through loud and clear, doesn't it? It's like we've got a, a cast iron shield for deflecting kind words, an impenetrable shield, you know? And yet harsh ones, straight in, straight through the defence, skewer us right in the heart. It's crazy, isn't it? Put very simply, we all need to learn, not just how to give kind words, but to take them too. Now I'm not talking about weasel words here, you know, and false compliments, I'm talking about genuine ones. What else can you get and give for free that requires no great skill, everyone can do this, and puts a smile on people's faces. Compliments can bring us a great feeling of contentment, happiness and well-being, but you have to take them on board and not shrug them off. Very simply. We all need to learn how to take compliments. And you'd think this would be easy to do, wouldn't you? But is it? I challenge you. No, I dare you to try this little experiment. Just for the next week. Whenever somebody says something nice to you, you're not allowed to brush it off, or to blush or to turn away, or make some smart remark. Instead, you simply have to look them in the eye and say thanks, or thank you. Why not try it? You'll find it strange at first, but you'll soon get the hang of it and feel so much better. Right, so why should this be difficult? Why, where do we get this thing? Where do we lose this ability to take compliments? Because most of us start our lives being praised for all sorts, don't we? Good boy, good girl. You know, you get a round of applause for using a potty when you're a kid. Now, I'm not suggesting you should carry on looking for a round of applause for that. But, like, there was a time in your life when you found hearing praise to be as normal as, as breathing. Now to be clear, this doesn't mean that you should get yourself an inflated opinion of yourself because that doesn't help anybody. It simply means that you should let, maybe try letting a few kind words through instead of deflecting them. Now here's a strange thing. You might find that once you start doing this, once you start accepting compliments, people will give you more. Why is that? Well, people won't keep saying nice things to you if you keep throwing them back in their face, you know? People only have a finite amount of goodwill. If you don't respond in a way that encourages them to give you more goodwill, well, it's lost. It's, it would be daft, wouldn't it? It would be like throwing seeds out on concrete and keep throwing them out just because it's there. So do yourself a favour and your loved ones as well. Learn to accept compliments. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to pass this on to your kids. Teach them to do it too. Now that's worth a bit of effort, isn't it? If you don't have kids, you've got loved ones. Now do you want them to grow up and to live in a world where they can take and accept compliments? Or do you want them to be closed up, shriveled up, bitter little individuals? Because that's kind of where you end up. Because if you keep deflecting all the compliments away from you, all that ever gets through is the negative stuff. And that can very turn very quickly turn Jack into a very dull boy indeed. So look, it's not going to cost you anything, but I tell you, you will be surprised how difficult, how, difficult, how strange this is to start with, when you start trying to accept compliments. 
because you'll find it your natural um, reaction to this is to make some comment to deflect it. Just try it. Catch yourself doing that and accept them. I think you'll find it worthwhile. And um, thanks for listening.